Okay folks, so this is just a quick video to help you understand the correct sequencing in your golf swing. So, if you get the correct sequencing, it can have a massive effect on how your swing looks on camera, in the downswing, and how your, your ball flight performs. You can go from a slice to a draw, just from changing your sequencing, believe it or not. So what I tend to see, the big problems I tend to see more often than not, golfers getting to the top of the golf swing, leading their downswing, sequencing their downswing with a throw of the shoulders and a throw of the arms towards the ball. This is the over the top pattern we've all heard before. So it's at the top of the swing, they're very eager to hit with the arms and the shoulders. It looks a little like this. Always looks a little out of balance, always looks a little bit kind of chicken wing through the ball with the arms. Often it's an attempt from a previous golfing game where they used to hit the ball at the right hand side and they try and swing to the left. So what was wrong with that? Well the sequencing was led from the top. I always say it's top heavy. It's leading from the top. Now if we were throwing a ball, if we was throwing a frisbee, if we was hitting a tennis forearm shot, we would think less and create the correct sequencing more often than not. So throwing a ball would look very much like this. Kicking a football would look very, look very much like this. So we want to feel like we're leading with the pressure shift towards that lead side first. Now if we do that, this is why the goal swing will look so different. Get into the top of the swing, leading with the arms and the shoulders. Arms fly outwards, weight goes forward into the toes, no rotation. Swing into the top, leading with a shift of pressure into the lead side. Notice there how the arms naturally fall back under the chest and on plane. So if we can start to apply this to our swing, we'll get that path more from the inside as opposed to across the ball, and we'll go from slice to draw, or slice to more neutral ball flight. So how do we do that? Well, a great drill is to swing to the top with your feet together, hold it, get all my students doing this, and then make some swings at full speed in the air, actually just planting first. So it looks like this, to the top. One more. Okay, changing the sequence in if you golf swing, it's leading with pressure going into the lead side, then the arms will fall back onto the chest and they'll hit the ball at the correct time. Then we try it on the shot. So it's going to feel like you're swinging to the top and you're putting a bit of pressure in that left foot, early doors, like so. Okay. And now we create a little draw. So my path, if you was looking on the trackman screen, it was showing that I was swinging 13 degrees across the golf ball. Now I've got that inside swing path. Play that back, my, look, my swing will look totally different in the downswing. One will look like this, one will look like this. You can change your swing path, you can get that draw by your swing path simply from changing your sequencing. Lead your downswing with pressure shifting into your, into your front side and your arms will fall. Lead your golf swing with a big attempt to throw in the arms and the shoulders of the ball and you'll hit those big slice shapes um, for as long as you play the game. So think about your footwork. It's not as hard as you, uh, we, we, we make it out to be. Get that footwork a little better and your swing will be a lot more repeatable.